People right here in Connecticut planned a trip to the nation's capital to participate in the rallies, and they tell us they did not expect it to turn into such a violent chain of events. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller picks up our team coverage now with what some of those protesters are saying. Courtney. Well, Aaron, one pro-Trump supporter from West Hartford uh, tells us today their mission was peaceful and they were as shocked as anyone watching those events unfold. He recorded on his cell phone. Take a listen. Those are the police right behind us in rows of like 20. Pushing people back. A lot of the guys now recording on his cell phone is Joe Visconti, a pro-Trump supporter and West Hartford native. He drove to Washington, D.C. with four other Connecticut residents on Tuesday. Now, he says the rally began at Freedom Plaza, but when they walked up to the Capitol building, they didn't expect this to happen. Joe tells us he watched as protesters got hurt. You watch me yelling and screaming while police pushed a woman down with no she did nothing wrong and beat her with clubs right on live Facebook. Uh, then, too, uh, they just took their shields and pushed people off, off the grounds, beat them, clubbed them. They never fought back. They tripped down the stairs. It was just police brutality like I would never believed would be. And more than 50 people have been arrested. We're learning some of those people live right here in Connecticut. You're going to hear more from Joe uh, and his eyewitness video coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live with the Mobile Newsroom. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.